right, guys. In today's video, we are going to sublimate a velvet pillowcase. Don't you love how that looks? It came out wonderful. Let's get started. I am going to make me a decorative pillow. I bought me a velvet pillow cover for a pillow. And this is the design that I'm going to put on it. Now, I got this design from Silhouette. And what I ended up doing was it was all black. And I ended up changing the heart to pink. And I have a velvet blush. I want to sublimate these pillowcases. And I've heard that you can sublimate on velvet. So I bought these pillowcases. And I am going to test them out to see if I can sublimate on them. So I'm just going to take you with me. And we're going to sublimate this pillowcase together. So I end up getting an image off of Silhouette. I wanted to print it out on my 7720 so I can make it as big as the pillowcase. Now this is a 17 or 16 by 16 inch pillowcase. So you know, I have eight and a half by 11 and then I have the 13 by 19. So I wanted to use my 13 by 19, but I'm having issues with the printer. So I decided to still do it. And what I did was break the image apart in the silhouette and then I'm gonna retape it together. So. Let me show you what I just started doing. And what I ended up doing was flipping it, mirror image it, cutting it down in the middle. And since the image was bigger than 11 and a half, well, eight and a half by 11, I split it across in the bottom also. So that's why you see me with all these, with all these images. And then I'm gonna tape them together. And then we're gonna sublimate this on top of my, my pillowcase. So let me tape this together. So what I like to do is line it up as best as I can, making sure you don't show no white. Okay, so now I'm just gonna use some heat transfer tape and I'm going to tape in the middle So I hope everyone's doing really good. I just had the best weekend ever. If you guys haven't seen my video, I uploaded a walkthrough of the So Magical Expo Vendor Hall 1. And then I also uploaded a video showing you what I ended up getting. So this is going to be a pillow that I'm going to use in my bedroom, which I love for the simple fact I have all boys. I have a daughter, a stepdaughter. And now what I want to do is flip it over and tape the backside all the way up. So now the next step is I want to connect the bottom part, which is this part. Oh, guess what I did? I need to reprint this. I did not print this backwards. Okay, so there goes my piece. So now... I'm just gonna cut it in half. And then I'm gonna cut it in half this way. I don't want no white showing. Okay, so I got no white at all. So now I'm gonna Take these two pieces together and line them up. Okay, so that looks good right there. 
And now I'm going to trim this down. Now I'm going to bring my other piece in. Hey, so there goes my image. And now, and these pillowcases came as a two pack. Okay, and now I'm going to get a piece of butcher paper and I'm gonna meet you in my heat press. Okay, so I'm here in my heat press and now I am going to set my temperature at 390 for 60 seconds. So right now it's coming up to temperature. So while that is happening, set my material. Okay, first things first. You want to add a piece of butcher paper, copy paper, or some type of paper inside so that you don't get no bleeding and no um, sublimation on the other side or inside. Okay, so I have my butcher paper. And right now, I want to press this really quick so it can be all ironed out flat. Okay, so now it is pressed very good. And now you want to add your butcher paper inside. I'm going to press it this way. So I know that I'm going to get everything. Next step is you want to lint roll your... Just lint roll it to get any lint off. You want to place your image and center it where you want it to go. It's at temperature. And now what you want to do is take your butcher paper and place it over the image. We are going to press this for 60 seconds. Okay, so now it's finished. So now we are going to pull it out. And I can see that I got some image, you can see it too. So now I'm gonna take it to my table and I'm gonna show you the reveal of my pillowcase. Okay guys, here we go. This came out so, so good. But I did have a little ghosting. So, and, you know, I don't understand I need to get rid of some of that tape. Because I don't know if you can see guys, but you can see the yellow from the tape. So I got it from in three spots, four spots. I got one, two, three, and four. And then you see the ghosting. So, but overall, guys, it came out cute. So remember, you can sublimate on velvet. Anything that's velvet, okay? Okay, guys, let's put this baby in a pillow form. And the zipper's on the bottom, which makes it better because it hides it when it's showing.
And even though it got ghosting, I'm still going to use it. Because if worse come to worse, I could redo it and have it on the back side. The good side of it. So, there goes my pillow, guys. I love how it came out. I mean, and it feels so soft, guys. So, there goes my project. Oh, it's so gorgeous. And this saying right here means everything to me because it is so true. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. I so do appreciate you. Um, if you like this video, please thumbs up. Definitely let me know what you think in the comments. Um, if you're new here, welcome. If you're old school, hey, guys. Hola, how we doing? Guys, if you're new here and or you just popped in and just came across my channel, please consider subscribing. I do crafts of all things, and I love life. So, guys, thank you so much for watching, and until next time, I'll see you soon. Bye now. Okay, so this is what it looks like, the finished pillow. And you got to tell me. You see the yellow marks on it? You couldn't see it in the video, but I can see that. So, there you go. Bye now.